Okay, in this video, we're going to look at what, what you can do with two qualitative variables. This is some data about cars, and I'm going to look at country and type of car, where the countries are Japan, USA, and other, and where there are several types of cars, including small, medium, compact, sporty, and large. I'm going to hit graph, chart, and I'm going to put country and type down in here and just put OK. And you can see here for Japan, it looks like sporty and small cars are the biggest, followed by medium. For other countries, it looks like large and compact, followed by medium. And in the USA, it looks like medium, large, and sporty cars are the are the most commonly manufactured cars. Part of this is a function of sample size within the data set. I'll look at this again. This time I'm going to put type and now look at sporty cars. Looks like those are Japan and the USA. Small cars, mostly other few in Japan, compact cars, mainly in other, medium cars, that seems to be dominated with the USA, as are the large cars. I'm going to repeat that. Chart, country, type, and under statistics now I'm going to select percentage of total. We'll see if we get a little bit different look here. So of the cars in Japan, most of theirs are sporty followed by small. For other countries, small and compact. And for the U.S., percentage goes to medium, large, and sporty. Okay, that's one way to look at two qualitative variables. Another approach would be to go to Analyze, Fit Y by X, and put Type is the Y, Country is X. You can switch those around and see what happens. And this is going to automatically, you can see here with the triangles, that's triangles are for quantitative or numerical variables, and then the bars are for categorical variables, the green are for ordinal, but bar by bar it's going to do what's called a contingency table. Let's automatically choose which is the best kind of model for you. And we'll just click OK now. And you can see two things here. It gives you a table with the count, the total percentage, the column percentage, and the row percentage. So you can look through there and have different ways of looking at how that all combines up. And then here's a new kind of plot, or relatively new, that's becoming more popular. It's called a mosaic plot. In this one, you can look at Japan, other, and U.S. And under USA, you can look at the size of the block there. It looks like medium cars, large and sporty, just like we've seen before. And then an other looks like the blue and green are small and compact, make up most of, the, most of their production. And then for Japan, you can look at that and see it's sporty and small got most of their production. There are some ways that you can look at two qualitative variables using junk.